Hi there, I'm Mike. What I have for you today is December's Zanini Box. If you're not familiar with Zanini Box, it is a box that's full of cards and pins. So if collectible cards and pins are your jam, this box might be for you. Uh, a year or so ago, I would have said they are not my jam, but I have quickly come around to it. Now, just a full disclosure, Mr. Zanini does send these to me for free. I don't pay for them but I'm going to be giving you a breakdown of how the boxes work and giving you kind of uh, like the lowdown of how, how I feel about everything and kind of a little rating system. So let's get started here. Okay, so let's start through this here. There's actually a lot of stuff going on here. Zanini changed things on me and I, uh, I, he might have sent me a message. I might have missed it, but let's start with what I do know, and that's the, the cards here. These cards have remained the same. If you want these cards, it's six bucks, and you get all nine of these cards. Now, the cards come with this nice little plastic insert where the cards sit in, and it just kind of goes into a three ring binder if you want. It starts with comics, movies, and video games here. So, in the comic portion, we get the Hulk. This is issue 0.5 of the Hulk came out January 1st, 1999. Um, it was written by Peter David and art by Adam Kubert. I don't know what issue 0.5 is, but that's fine, I guess. Next we have the cover for Action Comics number three. It was DC Comics. This was published in August 3rd, 1938. The writers are Jerry Siegel and Russell Cole, and the cover artist is Lee Omelia. Now, I don't actually know all this stuff. I'm just reading it off the back. There's also a nice little QR code that will take you to a link on probably Amazon to buy this stuff if you want to buy it digitally. And then lastly, we have the cover for Spawn number two. This was published by Image Comics on July 1st, 1992, written and drawn by Todd McFarlane, legendary writer and artist and toy maker. Next, we have cards for movies and TV shows. The first one is Platoon. This was directed by Oliver Stone. It was released on December 19th, 1986, and it ran for 120 minutes. I've actually never seen Platoon. I know, it's so weird. Next, we have Rocky, a classic Sylvester Stallone movie directed by John Avildsen. I, I actually never knew who directed Rocky. That's so weird. Uh, it was released on December 3rd, 1976. So it's kind of a fun, fun little thing. And then lastly, we have Ready Player One. A book and movie I'm not super into, but it's fine. It was directed by Steven Spielberg. It was released March 29th, 2018. Uh, I fell asleep watching it on an airplane one time. Uh, it's just, I read the book a while ago. I just, I never really got into it. I didn't really see the appeal. And then the last three cards are video games. The first one is one of my all-time favorite video games. This is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, developed by Nintendo, released March 3rd, 2017 on the Wii U and the Switch. I got it for the Switch. I hated this game at first, absolutely hated it until I got a, I don't know, maybe like 10 hours into it and then that hate turned into a deep, deep love. I was engrossed in this game for more than 200 hours. I absolutely love it. Breath of the Wild. Can't wait for the sequel. Next, we have Apex Legends, developed by Respawn Entertainment, published by EA. It was released February 4th, 2019 on PlayStation, Xbox, and Windows. Truth be told, never played it. I've heard a lot of mediocre to bad things about it. They did release some figures for it, but uh, yeah, not, not my cup of tea, I guess. And lastly, we have a classic game, Enduro, for the Atari 2600 released in 1983. So those are the cards. And again, if you wanna pick them up, it's six bucks and you can get those. The next part is actually an updated change to the pins. In the past, there were three levels of pins and you could kind of pick and choose how many pins you wanted versus how much you wanted to pay. That's no longer the case. Now, for 14 bucks, you get five pins and that's your only option. So if you feel like $14 is too much to pay for five pins, that's fine, but there's no more tiers you either you get them all or you don't so let's take a look at their starting with number one we have back to the future i absolutely love back to the future i feel like it's a little overplayed i think the first movie is actually kind of boring but truth be told i would say the same thing about star wars i still watch it i still like it but uh when i actually sit down and watch it it's kind of slow but uh, it's fine 
Back to the Future is great. I just prefer actually Back to the Future 2 and 3. Next we have Papa Smurf. I was way into the Smurfs as a kid. I was the right age demographic in 1982, 83, 84. I was born in 82, so it would have been like 84, 85, 86 when I was the appropriate age. Love the Smurfs, absolutely. Next we have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game after Assassin's Creed, whatever the, I think the one that was, took place in early America, I think, the American Revolution one. I think that's the last Assassin's Creed I played. So it's been a while and I'm way out of touch and I don't think I ever beat it, but I like Assassin's Creed. I like that game style. So, I mean, that's cool. Next we have DC character. We've got Plastic Man, who's basically a much cooler Mr. Fantastic, but on the DC side, his whole gimmick is stretching and reshaping himself. And he has the absolute most ridiculous costume, the sunglasses, the red leotard thing. Uh, I, I dig it, so I'm, I'm happy to have that. And then lastly, kind of going on with our Marvel releases, we have Hawkeye. Again, not a huge fan of the aesthetic, but at least I think his face is a little better. And I actually really like this outfit for Hawkeye. It's one of my favorite Hawkeye looks. So those are the five pins. You get them for $13.99. There's a new addition to the sort of Zanini world now, and that's magnets. Now, instead of getting pins, you can get magnets. So all the same things, Back to the Future, Smurfs, Hawkeye, all of that stuff. If pins aren't your thing, if you wanna get magnets, they release those too. So the magnets cost $15.99 instead of $13.99. So they are $2 more. And again, it's the exact same thing. You've seen them all. So we've got Back to the Future. We've got Papa Smurf. We've got Assassin's Creed. We've got Plastic Man, and we got Hawkeye. So if pins aren't your thing, magnets are available now as well for just a little bit more, because I guess magnet technology is just more expensive than pin technology. Now there's a couple of different ways you can buy these. Those are the individual prices for those individual things, but if you wanna buy multiples, you don't have to drop and break the bank for them. There are a couple of groupings. So if you wanna buy pins and cards, so that's kind of what I usually recommend to people buying if you like the cards and just the pins, those prices have remained the same. It's 20 bucks, 19.99, and you get all five pins and the cards. And I feel like that's still a great deal if you're looking for pins and cards. If you'd rather get the magnets and the cards, that's 22 bucks. Again, it's just those $2 more and all the pins become magnets. Now, if you wanna get everything, but what I have here basically, the pins, the magnets, and the cards, those are 35 bucks. So yeah, it's a little pricey. I feel like maybe you don't need to buy them all, but if you want to, it's available. Now, if it's your first time buying, you can use my name, Mike Case, and save 10% off your order. I don't get anything for that. So I literally don't care if you use it or not. It does just save you money, but there's no kickback for me. I'm just unboxing them. I genuinely like getting these. I had no idea about these changes. I'm literally learning it right now and relaying that information to you. So if I sound like I'm giving you a sales pitch, that's only because sales is actually what I do professionally. And I'm relaying information that I have here to you. That's all that's, all that's happening right here. Very innocent. Just what a salesperson would say. Anyways, that's it. So what I want to do is I, I always do this is I, I give my like my order in which I like these pins, which also works for the magnets. So for me, I'm going to put Hawkeye last. And I just I don't know, it's sad to say that, but it's true. Papa Smurf is number four. And actually I, I believe these are kind of interchangeable for me. It's not that I don't like them, but something has to be last. And it just happened to be these, and they're pretty much tied. It could go either way. But this is the way I'm just kind of putting it arbitrarily. I'm going to do Plastic Man number three because I just, I like the look of them. I'm gonna do actually Assassin's Creed number four. I really like this logo. Oops, I'm just gonna throw it on the ground too. I really like the logo. I think the logo looks great. The pin looks really, really nice. And then number one is this Back to the Future logo. I love the Back to the Future logo. I love the font. I love everything about that. So that's my uh, order in which I like them. Again, if pins aren't your thing, now there's magnets. If you like everything, get everything. If you just like cards, get cards. I know people that like all of those things. So it's cool now that there are plans to get exactly what you want. The only thing that's been taken away are the ability to just get like three of the five pins, but 
That's, I feel like that's fine. If you're gonna go in on pins, go in on pins. Anyways, that's it for the Zanini boxing for December. I hope everyone's had a great December so far, uh, or as great as 2020 can let your December be. I can't wait for this dumpster fire of a year to be over, but, I'm fine. So with that, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Let me know down in the downstairs area, what was your favorite? Do you get these? Do you just like watching my unboxings? I love to read and respond to all the comments. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the people here for supporting me on Patreon at an unboxing level or higher. Thanks a lot, guys. It means a lot to me. If you want to see your name on this list, it's not a very long list, but it's a very loyal list. If you want to see your name on this list, you can head down to my Patreon page down in the downstairs area below. I also do have just a regular YouTube channel membership if you prefer that. If you don't want to do any of that, there are a couple different ways you can support my channel down in the downstairs area as well, up to and including liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell for more notifications. And with that, that's it. Thanks so much for getting this far, and I'll see you later. Merry Christmas. I mean, bye. <laughs>